Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today we have an interesting topic, how T helper cell is different from T cytotoxic cell within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing this channel. Let's begin with why the name T cells. As we know, both T cells and B cells originate in bone marrow. In the case of T cells, maturation takes place in the thymus. That is why it is called as T cell or thymus derived cell. Now moving into the difference between T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells. Why it is called as T helper cells? T helper cell is a key player that regulates the entire adaptive immune response or specific defense mechanism. As you see in this figure, this T helper cell can interact with antigen presenting cells like macrophages, dendritic cells and it can activate B cells and also even cytotoxic T cells. As this T helper cell assists or helps all other cells during an immune response event, it is called as T helper cells. Now T cytotoxic cells, cytotoxic T cells binds to infected cells and finally causing the destruction of the infected cell. That is why it is called as cytotoxic or toxic to infected cell. Therefore, it is also called as killer T cells or effector cells. Difference number 2 and 3 regarding the marker and MHC interaction. In the case of TH cell, the marker is CD4. It's a glycoprotein that is present on the surface of T helper cell. It's a core receptor along with T cell receptor. T helper cells can recognize antigen that is bound to MHC class 2. MHC class 2 receptor is present only on antigen presenting cells like B cells, macrophages and dendritic cells. So these cells, antigen presenting cells, degrade antigen inside and process the antigen and present it on MHC class 2 and this MHC class 2 bound antigen is recognized by T helper cells. Whereas in the case of T cytotoxic cells, it carries a receptor that is CD8, which is a core receptor, a glycoprotein, similar to CD4. TC cells recognizes antigen that is in association with MHC class 1 receptor. As MHC class 1 is present in all nucleated cells, any infected cell can process an antigenic peptide and can present that on MHC class 1. That will be directly recognized by T cytotoxic cells. Difference number four, mode of action. In the case of T helper cells, it interacts with antigen presenting cells. It can activate macrophages to kill intracellular microbes. Let us see how it works. T helper cells, as you see, antigen presenting cell engulf pathogenic particles. It is processed and present it on MHC class two. Then that will be recognized by T helper cells. Then these T helper cells secrete chemical messengers like cytokines that can directly activate cytotoxic T cells that is specific towards this pathogen or epitope. So T cells can directly activate cytotoxic T cells, thus it mediates cell mediated immunity. This T helper cell can also activate B cells. B cells can have two pathways. One is independent of T helper cell and other is dependent of T helper cells. Sometimes this B cells acts as antigen presenting cell just like macrophages. It processes antigen and present that on MHC class 2 receptor that is recognized by this helper T cells. Then this helper T cells in turn activates this B cells causing its clonal selection that means forming numerous B cells with this, with this specificity and finally these cells further differentiate to form plasma cells and memory B cells and plasma cells will secrete antibodies, antibodies will be released into circulation and that will neutralize or that will neutralize with the toxins or that will deal with the pathogen ensuring its clearance. So T helper cell can also mediate humoral immunity or antibody mediated immunity by activating B cells. That is why T helper cell is called as a key player in regulating overall immune response especially adaptive immunity or specific immune response. 
Whereas the mode of T C cells or cytotoxic T cells, it destroys virus infected cells or tumor cells directly. As you can see, an infected cell, any nucleated cell is having an MHC class 1 receptor. An infected cell will process the pathogenic particle and present it on MHC class 1. This is just a stress signal, just like a stress signal and this is recognized by the cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells can recognize a pathogenic particle that is bound to MHC class 1. Then it, inside that there are granules that contains perforins. This can make pores on cell membrane of the infected cell. It secretes perforins that cause pores on the cell membrane ultimately causes the lysis of the cell. Then there are granizymes also that are apoptotic inducers or causing programmed cell death of the infected cell, thus clearing that infected cell completely from the system. And this is how the T cytotoxic cells works. And that is about the difference between cytotoxic T cells and helper T cells. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.